Okay, cool. I don't know. I don't think my alerts are going to be working tonight. Um, keep saying that it fails. The, um, Streamlab things fail. So if anyone follows, I probably won't get, an, get a notification or you won't get a notification, I don't think. But we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it works out in the best. Uh, the, the best. All right, so tonight we are here with the Beaker family. As you know, this is Loki and Cersei Beaker and their daughter... What's her name? Zoe. Zoe Beaker. And this is their renovated home, of course. I've renovated it quite a bit ago. And I actually forgot how much I actually really liked this renovation that I made. It does still need some furnishings, of course, and things. But it's pretty cute. I like the little hammock in the back. I think that's really sweet. They've still got their telescope on their rooftop. And yeah, they've got like their roof here. Um, this is the top floor. It's like a little... I don't know, like a sunroom. I don't know what this would be considered. There's like an extra room. I considered this to be like the office. This is supposed to be a nursery if they ever have another baby. There's a couple extra bedrooms. The hallway, of course. This is to the back um, patio. This is Cersei and Loki Beakers in their bathroom. And then their daughter Zoe's bedroom with her bed bathroom. Um, and then up down here, we've got the kitchen. I actually really adore their kitchen. I really like it. I think it's very cute. They've got a little breakfast nook, the walk-in area with the fish. They've got their big living room. This is their formal dining room with the bathroom. I'm not sure why these are here. Like, what is that? Why, why is these pieces of cereal everywhere? I'm not quite sure. Um, yeah, so they've got that, and then if you come this way, there's another, like, half bath. Again, another one. It's like a plate or something got deleted. I don't even know. Then there's the office here, the downstairs office, and then this is, like, the hidden laboratory. I did kind of try and make it as hidden as possible, so, like, if you came into the, you know, into the room here, unless you're over on this side, you're not going to see it because um, the door is hidden behind this like screen thing and then this is like the laboratory and then this is obviously where uh, nervous subjects sleeps um, he sleeps down there so yeah that's that I'm not quite sure what's going on with all this cereal everywhere so we're gonna delete that because I don't I don't want all the cereal everywhere it's weird cereal in the bathroom just doesn't make sense there must have been like an object that I got rid of or something. Like a set. Maybe I deleted a set or something. I don't know. I don't remember. I did see one upstairs as well. It, I, I'm, I, I can't answer. I have no idea what it is supposed to be. No idea. So, um, yeah. Is there anything else I'd like to put in here? Probably not. I don't think I really care that much. Anyways, so that's that. What the heck? There's like a man on the bathtub. Oh my goodness, and there's two more here. Holy moly, what's going on? Okay, well, I don't know what that all is about. But... Is that everything? <laughs> I don't want to have to do this again. Okay, I think that might be everything. And I'll get rid of them. Okay, that's not what I meant. Um, That's not what I meant either. Why can't I grab that? Oh, Okay, that's odd. Was this meant to be in her bedroom? Not sure. We'll stick it in here. Give her the purple one. With that, I guess. Sure. Not sure what's going on here. But we're going to go with it. So Cersei's up here. In this bathroom. Cleaning. Cleaning. Um, Nervous actually, Nervous actually got sent, um, 10,000 simoleons from the death of Olive. Um, so we actually need to bank that money for him. And I think with that 10,000, possibly Nervous is going to leave. Uh, he might, um, sneak out on his own, on, and move out on his own because... You know, you know, let's have him go deposit. He's already working in the military career. Okay, that was not going to come out correct. The military career. So he's already like ready to go, you know. Um, 
But yeah, let's make sure he gets that money. I think it would have been deposited into his banking account rather than sending it to the household funds. I thought in my head he was in his own household by now. So when I sent it to him, I was thinking, okay, he's in his own household. It's going to be fine. Let's just do it this way. It'll be easier. Come out to find out that he's in the household with these crazies still. And so I think technically it should have been sent to his banking account. So that's my own, you know, my own doing. I will take full blame for it. What are you doing? Don't be blowing bubbles, girl. You're like a child. Get out of there. <laughs> Clean this, and why don't you take a shower? Okay, so he is literally over here making medicine. So my whole thought here was Loki was going to open up a medicine store, and he was going to use these items to, um, like, put on a shelf and sell them. How is he getting these in his, hold on, excuse me. How is he getting these in his inventory? Oh, I didn't know he could put these in his inventory because we could totally make a medicine store. I wanted to get like about 50 of them and then start working on it. But if he, they're ready to go now, we could just purchase it whenever we got the money, you know? All right, so she's eating. He is literally... Is he literally putting them all in his pocket? Yeah, he is. Holy moly, that's cool. Okay. Is he making more? Oh, he's just making medicine in bulk. So I just have him set up to do this, like, a bunch. Which is too funny. I thought some of them he would make, like, bad batches. Can't you make, like... Yeah, make a virus in bulk. And I thought he would make some viruses as well and try and sell those to people. Because, you know, he's evil he's a mad scientist hello so i thought he would probably do that as well so i'm thinking we'll probably have him go ahead and start making some viruses at some point today she wants to get a creativity skill that's interesting go use that okay so their daughter is sick and i do think they would give their daughter one medicine i i would assume so let's see is this a good one hopefully it's good please don't kill her <laughs> Oh, she can't take these? Oh. <laughs> Wait, can, like, Cersei take it? Oh, give medicine to Zoe. There we go. I like the vases up there. Those are nice. Okay, so L Loki's carpool is arriving in about an hour. So he we should probably have him stop for a little bit and get a shower. Um, let's have him head. Where's the shower? Where's the full shower downstairs? Do we not have one? Hold on. I want to see what she's doing. Oh, let's get a little photo. They're he healing their daughter of a sickness. Come on. Cersei's a, Cersei should be a good mom. Cersei. Oh, boy. Um... <laughs> Zoe, I feel so bad for you, girl. I am so sorry that you look just like your dad. Oh, my thing's not open. Shoot. Hold on. Let me just open this this um application to take these photos in. Okay. Hi, Piazza girl. Welcome to the stream. Cersei is healing their daughter. She is sick with the land grab flu. So we're having Cersei administer some medicine that Loki has crafted up in his mad scientist days to give to her so that she can be healthy again. Where is the shower? Do we seriously only have this one shower in the entire house? Okay, well, go take a shower because you're stanking and your carpool's coming. Oh, she's giving it to her. <coughs> Yay, she's healthy again. Fantastic. Okay, let's get you to go to school. Go, girl, go. Nice. Cersei's going to be nice to her own kid, but she certainly is going to let other people just wilter away in the, you know, the awfulness of um, sickness. What can we do to do creativity in this house? What do we have? Anything? Cersei's healthy again, too, so that's phantasmic. 
We could probably have her right. Oh, for heaven's sake. What is she wearing? If she all wants to buy new clothes, I think I'm going to go for it. He wants to maximize the logic skill. Doesn't he have work? 10 a.m. Oh, there we go. His carpool is now here. Oh, and her carpool. Holy cannoli. Okay, well. Maybe this is the day that uh, Nervous moves out then. I mean, he doesn't really want to, but he wanted to stay home from work and I forgot to have him do it. Have to stop spread of the land grab flu. Well, I want the beakers to open up a medicine store um, because they're like the mad scientists. But not only are they going to sell medicine, they're going to sell viruses. And, <laughs> and then that would obviously be how, like, you know, the whole thing happens. Anyways, it says, Nervous is... Nervous has been delivered a set of especially green recruits that are wetter behind the ears than a big ear donkey in a rainstorm. He's had them for two days and most of them still can't lace up their boots. Half of them still complain about having to iron their pants and at least a third of them still seem to be uh, thinking for themselves. Nervous is trying to teach them all the cadet cat cadences he learned while he was a recruit. He tried putting them on ro ra ration restrictions, holy moly, and kitchen duty, but the regular ways just don't seem to be working, so it's time for phase two. Nervous can either force the recruits to march in their underwear or take away their rifles and make them carry around baguettes instead. Um, I think Nervous wouldn't be too cruel, and I think the underwear is kind of cruel, so I think he would go with the baguettes. It says Nervous musters the troops to attention, and after a searing but well-deserved scolding, he collects all rifles and stores them in a secure locker. The chastised recruits are then sent to the kitchen, where specific, specially prepared baguettes are waiting for them. After their distribution, the recruits are instructed to drill with their rifles or baguettes. Off-duty soldiers gather around the unfortunate recruits and comment on their baguette technique. Therefore, the squad is dubbed the Baguette Brigade by the whole camp. The resulting atmosphere causes the recruits to work together and earn their rifles back. Impressed by Nervous's unorthodox but effective approach, the CO personally promotes him to a junior officer. Nice job. Okay, so here's the thing. Do we think, do we think that Nervous, now that he has been promoted to junior officer level four, do we think that he would take this time and leave because technically Cersei and Loki are both out of the house at the same time and he's come into the fortune of 10,000 simoleons while all, since all of us passed away and he can go and get his own place? Or do you think he would stay here? You finally gain entrance to the officer's club. No resting on your laurels, though. You must keep your body in top physical condition if you want to advance. He now works from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. Sorry, Mealy, and brought home 315 today and a bonus of 630. Um, he does want to ask us him on a date. He wants to stay home from work. He wants to obtain a pet and get a kitten. He also does not want to fall out of love with Pascal. The problem with Pascal is his mom technically was the one who, like, literally you know, kind of married him. You get what I'm saying? So I think it might be kind of weird for him to be with Pascal now. Okay, we get it. You're home. <laughs> we get it. Yeah, I'm not sure. Because I'm not sure that he would... Like, he's so used to the way he's been treated here, you know what I mean? That I'm not sure that he would recognize that it's, like, not normal. You know what I'm saying? And since he wants to stay home from work and he doesn't have the wish to move out, I think we'll just okay. let him stay here. They've obviously been a little bit more lenient with the whole, you know, getting a job and things since they had a kid. And let's see. He's not great friends with Zoe, but he is kind of like acquaintances with her. So they've hung out and they've like had interactions, of course. 
So the, I feel like Cersei and Loki might have been like, you know, we don't want our kid to see us acting that way towards someone. So that maybe they've kind of like been nicer to him. Because she might think of him as like an older brother, if you think about it. And so like them hurting nervous might not be... Like they might think twice about it kind of in a sense. Since he's literally been around since she was born. Though he does despise um, Loki, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he pretty much dislikes him, pretty much. They're a negative four. Oh my goodness. Military intelligence, otherwise known as... Uh, whatever that says. Has unearthed something very important in the SimCity desert. Loki has received a telegram that reads, Loki, stop... Top secret stop your eyes only stop have found honest stop I stop I stop E stop N stop stop S stop P stop A stop C stop E stop S stop H stop I stop P stop stop come to the you know where at you know when stop this message will self destruct stop Whoo! fascinated by the thought of a small piece of paper self destructing Loki places the telegram on the table but it just sits there Benign as ever. Well, Loki does manage to decipher the military's intricate code, but unfortunately has absolutely no clue what the time or place where he's supposed to meet them and discuss the you-know-what. So he submerses they must either be talking about the evacuation area or somewhere out in the middle of the desert or the secret underground military installation he's heard of, he's heard talk of somewhere off Interstate 51, which one should he try? <sniffs> try the desert. That one is a mouthful, yeah. The desert is site is bound to be a vi visible from one of the hideaways of, as the SimCity desert isn't very large. So Loki requisitions a company car and drives off toward the desert's yellow horizon. Circles around for an hour or so, but eventually spots a military truck and follows it off-road for a few minutes until they reach an outpost. Loki flashes his credentials and is escorted to a tent beside the evacuation site. Once inside, he is introduced to a few officers and scientists before being shown to a back room containing the artifact. The automobile-sized device is constructed of a metal Loki has never seen before, and it appears to pulse and expanding and contracting as though its surface was malleable instead of rigid. Scientists explain that no headway has been made and that no tests or observations have shed any light on the makeup or pur purpose of the alien technology. Loki places his hand on the object and to the shock and awe of everyone in the room within minutes has opened the device and has begun to theorize as it to its construction and function. The onlookers are impressed and Loki is promoted to the theorist. Whew, that was a lot to read. <laughs> All right, two for two. <laughs> Wow, he's a level nine. Says the accolades in your research have earned you the highly paid position of theorist. You enjoy a higher salary to work hours ratio than the one you had as an inventor. You must work hard to keep a high state of happiness and health, and only a successful theory can lead to the status and rewards you seek. He now works from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Sir Mealy. He brought home 740 and got a bonus of 1,480. Cool. Yeah, that one was a huge... That was a lot of stops. But we got through it. Okay, he also wants to gain a skill point. So we could do that. Um, okay, he's going to go take a bubble bath. I mean, go for it. I, I, who am I to tell you no? He wants to go swimming. Is there actually a swimming pool on this lot? Did, I don't think there is. Is there? So he would have to go downtown. Well, he would have to go, like, downtown, strange, strange town. Not, like, downtown, downtown. They never seem to use the breakfast one. It's interesting. They only seem to eat out here, which is, is cool, but... The breakfast one is supposed to be, like, for... Quick little wheels. Ooh, excuse me. I 
It's nice to have breakfast outside. I don't think I have a outside breakfast table for these guys. <sighs> what could we have him do for fun? Watch TV or something? Okay, well, you didn't have to throw that on the floor. Yeah, but I think there's a table outside, isn't there? Yeah, we have this little table outside. So, I mean, technically they could eat out here, but they just choose not to. I forgot I put this up here. Of course, Nervous is on it. Like a perfect size room for this. All right, let's see. Let's change this to SBN, I guess. What the heck? Sitting on its end. You can make viruses in bulk. How much medicine did he actually end up making? 25. Time does Cersei get out? Oh, 6 p.m. Oh, you thought that was outside. Oh, yeah, yeah. Zoe's grades are improving. Why don't you come join t watching TV? She's got to. Oh, uh huh. What do you want? She. Me and Diba Seven. Kaluta me, Abaju. Staff of Mutitishu. Temo, Momo Asia. Alright, let's have Loki go back and make medicine in bulk. He does want to get his logic to the maximum level, so that's why I'm really pushing it for him.
She does look a lot like her dad. Here's her side profile. She, I think she looks like a lot like her dad. Can she not get in when he's sitting there? That's interesting. What's this? What is this? No, what? Oh my goodness. I got really scared. Oh look, oh my gosh. <gasps> Nervous could meet his dad. <laughs> Literally, nervous can meet his dad. <laughs> Cersei got 475 today. He was like, I'm out. Alright, let's move this grave. Um, he literally... Loki literally just... The nanny just literally died here, and Loki just went, wow, this was a great week. Goodness. Horrible. Okay, let's go ahead and save. How dare he say that it's been a good week after the nanny just died. Shies. Harsh. Harsh indeed. Play red hands. Interesting. She wants to stay home from work too. That's also interesting. I mean, does he like anyone is the next question. You know? Does he really like anyone? What is her aspiration? Oh, right. She wants to become the chief of staff, which is probably never going to happen for you because you're stuck at this level unless you get a chance card like Loki did. As I have that thing, that mod education is good or whatever, and it doesn't allow them to get promotions unless they've literally, um... Oh. Oh, he wants to hire a butler. He also wants... He literally wants to tar turn Carla into a zombie. He literally got that wish five seconds after she died. How rude. Did he actually master... Oh, he did master logic. Wow. Okay, so I can have him stop then. Let's have you get something to eat. Nervous, what do you need, dude? You're like following Cersei around like a puppy dog. Alright, go potty. Alright, get some leftovers. You get some leftovers. Do they even have enough money for a butler, though? Let's just have her get some juice. And then I am going to ever take a shower. Ooh. 
Et voilà la ah. sévénie, les télés. Ouais, c'est. Oh, crème C'est la fois à la bonne nuit. Ah, vous ah. ah. Oubla. Ouais, c'est. Soma Tram. Okay, how many of these does he have? 32. I said about 50, so we're getting close. She also wants to juggle. So we could let her juggle some cups. Now she wants to watch TV. go to bed. Let's have him take a shower when he's done brushing his teeth. Okay, and then we'll have him go downstairs and get into bed. How is Cersei doing? She's doing good. Okay, let's have her head upstairs and get a shower. We need another shower. The one shower is not going to cut it forever. Let's have Cersei head to bed. Okay, are you going to answer the phone or just keep letting it ring, dude? Ringing.
Wait, am I offline? I'm not offline, am I? Am I online? What? Am I online? What? what happened? Oh, she said I'm here. She said I'm here. Oh, it went away. Fuck. Interesting. I don't know what happened. I didn't even know it went down. Well, that's poopy pants. Was it down for a long time? She said I'm here, though. So Interesting. Did it go down for you? It's still showing I'm offline for me. Let me refresh my chat. This is being... It didn't go down for you. Okay. Well, I don't know what's going on. Let me just refresh chat. That way I can see that I'm online and I won't always think I'm offline. Still says I'm offline. I don't know. The app is weird. <laughs> it didn't go down at all. Okay. Well, it's Lily still telling me I'm offline on the app, so. Interesting. All right. Nervous is wanting to stay home today from work, so I think we're going to let him do that. Oh, wait. He doesn't work today and tomorrow. Of course, the day that he should have stayed home, we went. But he got a promotion, so we can't even be mad about it, can we? It's like 6 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. Alright, re-rolling some wishes. He wants to buy a game. He still wants to ask us him out on a date, so we'll probably get him to do that. Uh, Zoe wants to get her homework done, so I think I'm going to go ahead and let her... Uh, try and, you know, knock that out when she can. She also wants to get a kitten or a puppy. They do have some money to get a uh, animal. And Nervous also has the wish to get a kitten. So I'm kind of thinking maybe we do it today. Well, I don't know. Um, I'm going to lock it in for her. And then if I decide to do it, then I'll do it, like, you know, at the end of stream or whatever. Is Cersei awake? Yeah, she also wants to stay home from work. Does she have today off? Yes. And, oh, wow. Look what Loki wants to do. He wants to reach the top of his science career. He wants to talk about his hobby. He wants to reach maximum enthusiasm in science. What is his enthusiasm right now? An eight. He also wants to see a shooting star. That's 15. That's 8. Well, we can talk to his wife about his hobby in science. Is he looking at me? He's looking at me. It's very weird. Oh, it's very weird. Stop making the bed. Talk to your wife. She's like running away. She's going to take out the trash. Like literally this what this lady wakes up and does. So I think as a family. Okay, why are you driving that in the house? Nervous. I don't think that's appropriate. <laughs> I think as a family, I think Cersei would be the one to make the the medicine. And as she's making it, she would think like Loki is making the medicine as well. But he'd be making viruses. I can totally see that. So I might... Act oh, for heaven's sake, Cersei. Clean this up when you're done. I really don't like this outfit. I don't know how everyone else feels about it, but I really don't like it. Wait, can she not do her homework? Do your homework. Is your chair not in the right spot? It might not be. Let's get you to stop doing that, Zoe. Can she not get to it? Oh, the chair is not in the right spot. Okay, let me fix that. Let me fix it. Um, I'm not sure that's a fix. 
not sure that was a fix at all. Um, okay, let's see. Maybe it has to go there. No, it did not scoot in at all, did it? Okay, go here. Is that where it's got to go? Nope. Does it seriously have to go there? How does it scoot in? How and why is this not working? Ah, got it. Do your homework. Oh my goodness. Well, we all just saw what's happening over there, so we're just gonna focus on Zoe at the moment. Are they gonna try for baby? I need to get their bathroom done. Of course they are. Well, it's a risky try, isn't it? Oh my gosh. I can literally hear them like honk honk. <laughs> okay, when she's done, I think I'm gonna have her claim her desk. And since there is only one bathroom with a shower, come use this one. And Cersei, go downstairs and use this bathroom. And then you can, like, wash your hands, you know. Don't sleep. Okay. And then get some leftovers. Loki, you can get some leftovers. You can have, um, have some chips. Nervous? Where art thou? Who could we have a nervous ask out on a date? Like, should we really go for Pascal knowing that his he was married to his mom, his biological mom? Or should we continue with Roger Young or someone else? Roger Young is an NPC. And Pascal is a family sim. So remember, whoever he probably dates is who he's probably going to want to marry. Though he has relationships with both of these guys and doesn't want to get married to them, so who knows? He does want to reach max um, enthusiasm in the science, and I'm thinking I might just have him make medicine today. Um, make medicine. Oh, use that. Make medicine in bulk. We could try a blind date. Um, cereal's fine. Wow, she did her homework and all of a sudden it's like everything is good to go. Alright. Actually, I just want to turn on all the fans. So what am I trans grass? Uh. I really like this little, um, I don't know, I made it like a plant room here that they can, that they have as all of their important plants. Like this one here is the adjuster for ACR. Um, we've got, where is all the other plants? This one here is the... I thought this one was the lot synchronizer. No. Okay, maybe it's not all the important bushes. Oh, I thought all of the important ones were in there. Interesting. She's like, hello, the house is a mess. Okay, well, I wonder if Cersei is expecting... I feel like she's not, because we got the pop-up that they were gonna, that they were trying for baby, but then nothing else. What is going on, Nervous? 
Nervous, if you're going to go on a date, you need to get ready for a date. So go take a shower. And then eat something. No, don't delete it. Uh-oh, where'd it go? Where is it? Why is it? Why is it going there? I don't know where it went, but it's visible now. Okay, she wants to watch some TV, so let's have her feed the fish, clean it as well. Then she can watch some TV. What are you doing? Oh, she's making her parents' bed. Zoe, you're too kind. Your parents aren't that great. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and... Play. Uh-huh, he knows. How many does he have? 37. lunchtime. <clears throat> Let's see. Call. Is she a service? Wait, does he have... I'm not quite sure. I was thinking he might have that thing in his inventory. I'm trying to think who in my world is kind of like gay, you know? What's his name is gay? Um... Well, I think Malcolm might be bisexual. But I'm thinking of the cook guy. What's his name? Julian? Is that his name? Julian Cook? Okay, let's see if we can get a matchmaker. Oh, he's so nervous. Um, matchmaking. I can sense you're looking for someone to spend the rest of your days with. You do require my matchmaking services. Yes. Mm -hmm. ah. Oh, that reminds me. I need to move Vidkind in with what's her face because they're gonna get married next round. <clears throat> um, I gotta move Vidkind in with Ophelia. Nervous? Where'd you go, my friend? Oh, he's gonna go watch her play. Okay, come here. Um, greet her. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, she finds Dirk Dreamer and uh, General Buzz Grunt more attractive than she does her own husband. Okay, let's see. Let me save before we do this, just in case, you know, anything were to happen. Okay, uh, let's see. Ask for a blind date. I want to be male. And we probably shouldn't spend too much money. Because if you think about it, like we could do literally all of our money, but that's like the beaker's money, you know? So maybe we do like 1,500-ish. Can we like, oh. How about that? 1,500, that seems like a good amount, right? Let's do it. Ah, I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. Who is Corey Hutchinson? Admire him? Oh, well, he's a family sim. Hello. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. He wants to already slow dance with him and talk to him. So let's talk and chat. Yeah, it's a townie. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think I have a lot of male sims whom are... Um, gay, so it's probably why I couldn't pull somebody. I'm assuming it only pull, like, if your sim is guy, it would only pull gay sims, I'm assuming. That would make sense. Alright, check the sim out. Tell him a joke. Slow dance. Have a pillow fight. Oh, uh, uh, slow dance. Mm -hmm. uh, what does he want to do? Pillow fight, dance, be tickled, and play. Okay, play tickle. Oh, did they Oh, slow dance. Oh, he wants to be friends with him. Flirt with him. Should we charm him if you can? Appreciate. Dance. Um. <laughs> oh, he just did a joke. Appreciate, admire. Um, maybe gossip. Share interests. Oh, okay. One bolt, yeah. Not great. Slow dance, dance, appreciate. Wow, okay. Well, that wasn't very nice. We can't even, we can't even slow dance. Oh boy. This isn't going too great. He wants to gain a cooking skill point. Dance and appreciate. 
I'll tell him a dirty joke. Oh, you can't. Give him a friendly hug. To your interests? Okay, wow, all right. Ask what's your sign. Also ask, do you like what you see? Because it will change his wishes. He is a family sim, though. I mean... <sighs> All right, he wants to get a back rub from him. Stop arguing with him. He wants to kiss Nervous and hug Nervous. He also wants to be flirted with. This is a very tough couple. <laughs> they don't get along that great. Okay, what's this one? Get a back rub from him. Flirt. Charm him. <laughs> the date is good, yeah. <laughs> no, he wants to kiss nervous. Well, nervous has a crush on him. They're <laughs> playing red hands now. Nervous, you have to do what the date asks, buddy. Gosh, he doesn't want to do anything with him. Okay, give him a back rub. Now let's see. Can we... Slow dance. I think that's what his is. Oh, it's a pillow fight and a dirty joke. Oh, play and appreciate. Oh, they don't even want to dance anymore. Fantastic. Okay, can you smooch him? <laughs> Maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe it will count for the kiss. Mm. Uh, mm. Oh. Mm. Oh boy. Mm. <laughs> Nervous. <laughs> <laughs> he just keeps pushing. He's like, come on, we can do this. Oh my mm. goodness. Okay. Um. Uh, play tickle. Maybe we can entertain him. Nope. <sighs> Appreciate and play again. Play red hands. He's flirting with him suggestively on his own. We can't kiss him. We can't tell a dirty joke. <laughs> now he wants to appreciate Nervous and kiss Nervous. Okay, well, what are you making? Yeah, hopefully. She made some dinner. Oh, he's coming to eat. He said, screw that date. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, Loki. Why don't you come out of your closet that you're in and come eat? And kiddo, why don't you eat too? Oh my goodness, I did not know that kids could blow bubbles. Did anybody else know that kids could blow bubbles? That is insane to me. I did not know that. Okay, he had to go potty. So maybe that was one of the reasons why he was kind of so grump grump. Um, 
Maybe a suggestion with him and see what happens. He's think. Oh, he likes that. Okay, that works. Now play tickle. Tell a dirty joke. And... <laughs> he wants to kiss him, but like, seriously, can't even... He can't even do a kiss. Suggestion again? <laughs> oh, there we go. Kiss his hand. Now he wants to make out. Give him a peck. Appreciate a back rub. Oh my gosh, we just didn't make it. Oh, okay. It was going better at the end. Let's put it that way. But, yeah, that didn't quite do it for us. Alright, put away the leftovers. Pokey, please. You're gonna literally die in there. Cersei's still hungry. Um, why don't you come eat? Oh, he's telling her a joke. Here, clean this up. He doesn't want to be best friends forever with him, so obviously he's like, well... Yeah, it was, it was great, but it wasn't, like, you know, spectacular. Though it did, you know, take away his wish, so... All good, no harm, no foul. We're doing the deeds. Girl, I wish you would have went to the bathroom at least before going to bed. Because seriously, you're about to pee your pants. I'm not so worried about, you know, the ba the shower as much. But, like, literally, you really got to use the uh, thing. Ooh. Why is Cersei needing a second plate, by the way? Is there something she needs to tell us? Cersei, do you need to tell us something? Dude, go potty. You're about to pee your pants. And then I'll let you make some more medicine for a little while. Actually, I'm going to start, start making the viruses. I'm going to let Cersei make medicine too. Make medicine in bulk. These guys are freaking obsessed with this thing. So it's the outside on the balcony, but they keep bringing it inside. Like when they're driving it, it keeps getting brought inside the home. That's, like, not the point of having it on the porch. The porch uh, it's on the porch for the reason of let's keep it on the porch, you know? Anyways. Okay, so I'm going to let Cersei make medicine. I'm going to let um, Loki make some viruses. Once they get enough um, point, um, enough money, I'm going to have them buy the um, store, the community lot store. And we're going to sell medicine at it. We're going to call it, um, I think we're gonna, we were going to call it like Beaker's Beaker's or something like that. Yeah, that one didn't come out good. Oh! Oh, we got it! He literally got it. He can make... He literally is at the top of the um, science thingy. So he got the membership to the secret lab now. Mm -hmm. 
I wonder if there's a way to tell the difference between... So, like, the blue ones are obviously the good ones, and then this one is obviously a bad one. But, like, when we put them out, it's... You know what I mean? Like, look, there's multiple different variations, you know? Like, that one is another bad one, I think. Interesting. We've got 58 of them now. I do really want them to do it. We could, I guess... Well, I want it to be a community lot business because here's the thing. I want my Sims to be able to go there and buy medicine when they're sick. It's another way for us to heal them. You know what I'm saying? Like, when they're sick. Um, so I can't do it as a home lot because, obviously... You can't go to a community lot and buy something at a home lot, can you? So, this was really the only way for me to do it. All right, let me have Cersei stop. She's kind of freaking me out a little bit. Her needs are going quite quick at the moment. Or at least it seems like it to me. But we are building a lot of logic from doing this. I mean, logic is important for her job, too, so that's good. Also a cleaning skill, but... She ain't getting that. Who's this? Who's Narissa? Narissa Inada. Well done. Your enthusiasm knows no bounds. I have placed a special plaque in your inventory as a gift for your hobby devotion. Nice. He got the plaque. Oh my goodness. He got the plaque of science. Oh, we got to take a photo of this. This is a this is a moment to remember, don't you think? That is so cool, dude. Oh yeah, Loki's getting it. 